fundamental principles of counting in short we write fpc so fundamental principle of counting it is a rule or a method so which is used to determine or count the total number of possible outcomes total number of possible outcomes are the ways in any situation so here we have two principles multiplication principle one and the second addition principle so let us study about multiplication principle if an operation can be performed in m different ways following which the second operation can be performed in n different ways then the two operations in succession means one after the next can be performed in m into n different ways let us study this definition with an example suppose a person has to travel from p to r via q in which the first operation traveling from p to q which can be done in two ways let us take this as a and say this is b and from q to r can be done in three ways say this is one second and third means from p to q so he can travel in two different ways either through a or b and again from q to r he can travel in three different possible ways that is q through one or two or three so that the number of possible the total number of possible outcomes are the possible number of ways in which he can perform these two operations after completing one p to q then next means both are dependent so here q to r is dependent on the p and q both must be completed so we use here p to q so let me write here the number of possible outcomes p to q through a p a q let me write and again from q to r through one say one p a q one r this is one possibility and then again p a q 2 r is another possibility and the next p a q 3 r is a third possibility means through a from p to q there are three possible outcomes and again now from p to b p to q through b again can be done in three possibilities say p b q 1 r so p b q 2 r and p b q 3 r so and, and hence we can say there are total six possible outcomes here total six possible outcomes so now without actually counting these many ways by using our multiplication principle this is the first operation so p to q which can be done in two ways and the next second operation q to r which can be done in three ways and one after the next we have to do it like second operation is dependent on the first operation and hence we use the multiplication here 2 into 3 so 2 3 is a 6 so we can use the multiplication principle in such type of problems so let us see with some more examples and also the above stated principle can be generalized for any finite number of operations not only for two operations it can be done for three operations or four operations or any finite number of operations okay now let's see with the different examples let us see the example one a hall has 12 gates in how many ways can a man enter the hall through one gate and come out through a different gate so let us consider a hall let's take a rectangular shape so which has 12 gates say g1 g2 g3 g4 G five and G six, G seven, G eight, G nine, and G ten, G eleven, and G twelve. So total twelve gates are there. So in how many ways can a man enter the hall through one gate and come out through a different gate? So here we can see that there are two different operations. So the first operation is 
operation one so he need to enter inside the hall through any one of the gates so he is having how many possibilities either he can enter through gate one g1 or he can g2 or he can through g4 and so on up to 12 so he can enter he can enter through any of the 12 gates any of the 12 gates g1 g2 and so on up to g12 so how many ways here 12 ways and the next operation and the second operation is here and he need to come out now he has to come out through a different gate he has to come out through a different gate which means that the one gate which he has entered he should not come he should not go from that gate again different gate so suppose that let us assume that he has entered through gate 2 now he is inside now he has to exit so he could he could not come out of the gate 2 so the gate 2 was closed now how many possibilities are there 11 possibilities so which means that he has to come out through a different gate can be done in 11 ways if one gate he is already selected for entering then remaining 11 possibilities are there 11 gates are possible for him to exit so by fundamental principle of counting so first he has to enter and then he has to exit means both are like dependent so we can say by multiplication principle fundamental principle by fpc the total number of ways is nothing but total number of ways is nothing but 12 and then 11 means multiplication 12 into 11 so that is 132 ways in 132 ways he can enter and he can exit through a different gate okay right now let's see another example in how many different ways can five persons stand in a line for a group photograph so here is a group photograph and there are five persons it's five positions one two three four and five so the five positions are here to be arranged in how many different ways can five persons stand in a line so let us consider the five persons as p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 so these are the five different persons and they need to be adjusted in a group photograph here or they need to arrange themselves here for group photograph in how many different possibilities we can arrange them now if any of one of the person here say p1 then how many ways he is having a choice to stand in a position so he can select either the first place or the second place or third place or fourth place or fifth place or we can see this first position can be occupied we can say that this first position can be occupied by any of the five persons means five possibilities are there the first position and then for the second position if one position is occupied the first place here then the remaining four persons are there to occupy when there are four positions to be occupied there are four possibilities we can say for the second position and the next the third one so if two persons are already occupied then the remaining only three possibilities any of the three so three possibilities are there for the third position then if three persons are already occupied then only two persons are left over 
so they are having two possibilities here fourth position similarly the last position can be occupied so only one position is left that is one means here we have done in five different operations so operation one so operation one can be done that is in a five different ways because there are five people five persons are there so five ways we can do it and operation two so which can be done in four different ways and operation three so which can be done in three different ways and operation four so which can be done in two ways and operation five which can be done in one way and like all the positions being occupied dependent on each other so we can say that by multiplication principle of counting fundamental principle of counting we can write here 5 into 4 into let me write the number of ways therefore total number of total number of ways is nothing but 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 that is 5 plus 23 is a 62 62 is a 120 so 120 ways we can say in 120 different ways all the five persons can stand in a line for a group photograph okay now let us see another example there are 10 true or false questions in an examination the number of ways in which these questions can be answered is so there are 10 questions question number one question number two question number three and so on question number ten true or false questions means each question is having a two possibilities either true or false either true or false means two possibilities even the second question also having two possibilities question number three is also having two possibilities and so on question number ten two possible ways of attempting and let us assume that all the questions need to be attempted there is no choice so there are like 10 operations here the first operation can be done in two ways and and we are going means and means multiplication principle so second operation means 2 in 2 2 and again third question two possibilities and so on till question number 10 we have to attempt so total 2 into 2 into 2 into and so on to 10 times so therefore we can say the total number of ways by fundamental principle of counting total number of ways can be answered these 10 questions true or false questions can be answered is 2 to the power of 2 into 2 and so on 10 times that is 2 to the power of 10 which is equal to 1024 ways so 1024 ways he can answer those 10 true or false questions okay by multiplication principle this in this way we can solve it okay right now let's see addition principle if an operation can be performed in m different ways and another operation which is independent of the first operation can be performed in n different ways then either of the two operations can be performed in m plus n ways let us take an example consider a room with five doors say two on one side say this is side one two doors are there say a and b and there are three doors on the other side say c d and e suppose a man is inside the room so he has to exit out of the room in how many possible ways he can come outside if that is the question then so we can see that he is having totally five possibilities so he can exit through a or he can exit through b or he can exit through c or he can exit through d or he can exit through e so total five possible possibilities are there so if we can just count by addition principle so if an operation can be performed in m different ways and another operation can be 
another operation which is independent of the first operation which states here here is the job he has to come outside so on one side there are two possibilities and the other side there are three possibilities so in one operation two ways are there and the other operation three ways are there so both are independent they are not dependent means he can go in either way either in the first side or he can the second side which does not impact on each other so that he can go with either two or three ways so which can be given by m plus n m plus n ways so that is 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 ways so here 5 ways without actual counting we can give the answer 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 okay now let us see the examples and before that this this principle can be generalized for any finite number of operations not only for two operations here it can be done for three operations or four or any finite number of operations this can be done so now let's see the examples in a class there are 10 boys and 8 girls the teacher wants to select either a boy or a girl to represent the class in a function in how many ways the teacher can make this selection so here the teacher can perform either of the following two jobs or two operations we can say see operation 1 selecting a boy selecting a boy among 10 boys and the operation 2 selecting a girl among 8 girls so teacher needs to make a selection either of this means either boy or girl only one student to be selected to represent the class function so by the fundamental principle of counting by FPC by using addition principle without actually counting we can use here so either two choices are here either 10 boys operation 1 or so whenever you use or here we should go with an addition that is plus 8 so the total number of ways a teacher can select is nothing but 10 plus 8 which is equal to 18 so in how many ways the teacher can make this selection is 18 ways okay this is how the fundamental principle of counting addition principle can be used okay let's see another example if there are 23 iits and 31 nits in india find the number of ways a student can select an institute if he cleared both iit je mains and advanced exams so here given there are 23 iits and 31 nits in india so a student is cleared both iit je mains and advanced examination and now he is having two options so among the 23 iits so he need to select student A student needs to select an institute either in IITs or NITs because he cleared both IIT J mains and advanced examination so he is eligible to select so iit is how many options he is having he is having 23 among 23 colleges are there 23 iits are there and 31 nits are there so total 23 iits and 31 nits means 51 23 plus 51 is 23 plus 31 54 so 54 call institutes are there so he need to select among this 54 institutes one one institute he needs to select he or she okay so by by fundamental principle of counting we can just write here 
by FPC fundamental principle of counting by using addition principle because here is an option like both are they are independent additional principle so the number of ways is equal to 23 plus 31 that is 54 means whenever you see an or the number of ways you can select an institute either IITs or means we can use plus here addition principle we can use it right okay now let us see another example find the number of different signals that can be generated by arranging at least two flags in order one below the other on a vertical staff if five different flags are available so here total five different flags are given so we need to find the signals the number of di different signals that can be gen generated by arranging at least two flags so therefore we can say here a signal can consist of either two flags or three flags or four flags or we can take five flags this maximum is five different flags are given so two or three or four or five so let us see how many different signals can be formed with the two flags and it is given an order that signal can be one below the other in signal two flags if you use so the first flag can be taken among the five different flags so we have five options for the first one and after placing the first color then we have to go for the next color next flag so we had out of five flags one flag is already used here so the remaining four flags so here we can use four and here we are using both the flags one after the next means by multiplication principle we can say the number of number of signals using two flags which is equal to 5 and then 4 5 and 4 means multiplication principle we are using so 5 4 is a 20 so 20 ways we can we can use a two flags for signaling and now for and now for three flags if you use another signal If we, if we use three flags among the five different flags so that the first flag will have five possibilities and the second flag will have four possibilities and the third flag can be taken three possible ways and all the three are dependent so first then second then third means five first flag and second flag and then third flag so here we can write the number of signals using three flags so we can write the first flag can be five possibilities and means after placing the first flag again we have four possibilities and then again for third flag three possibilities are there and we are using multiplication principle five into four into three which is equal to 60 ways and then Similarly, for third one, similarly if we can use here four, four flags if we are using a signal can be like a five ways, the second flag four ways and third flag three ways 
and fourth flag 2 is so we can write here number of signals using four flags is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 so which is equal to 120 ways means 120 signals can be prepared using this four different colors and fourth one the same manner if you are using five different colors 1 2 3 4 5 the first flag will have the five possibilities and the second four possibilities and third flag will have three possibilities and fourth flag will have two possibilities and the last one will have only one possibility it's in the same manner so we can write here number of signals using five flags five different flags which is equal to five into and you are using multiplication principle one after the next if one is placed then second also will be placed third also and and principle multiplication principle you are using here so 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so which is equal to 5 plus 23 62 is a 120 so again 120 signals we can prepare so now the question is asked find the number of different signals that can be generated means that can be either two flags or three flags or four flags or five flags and we have found for two flags how many signals 20 for three flags 60 and for four flags 120 and for five flags also 120 we found but the number of different signals so we should use the addition principle means or or means addition So therefore, number of different signals number of different signals using five different flags contains at least two flags which is equal to for two flags we are getting 20 ways 60 ways for two flags you are getting 20 plus or or means plus for the next one you are getting 60 and the next one 120 and again 120 for two flags 60 sorry two flags 20 three flags 60 and four flags 120 five flags 120 so two three four five so total you are getting 120 122 40 plus 60 320 so 320 ways we can prepare the signals okay right